Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna be installing a garage door lock on my garage door. Now the reason for this is I want to eliminate the garage door opener here because both, both of my doors, the uh, openers that they installed were installed essentially incorrectly. So I'm gonna remove them, um, but step one, is I need to put this lock on so that when I remove my doors, I still have a way to secure my garage door at night so no one can open it. Okay, so I'm using a slide lock. So I have one location right here it can go into. I have one more right up here. Now I can't use this one because the garage door wheel is right here. So this is not gonna work and I don't have anywhere um, on the frame where I can put the mounting uh, bracket. So I'm gonna have to use this bottom one. And luckily, this hole lines up well. Uh, when I tap this out here in a second, this should line up perfectly with the mounting holes. So I should be able to use this one, but I will have to drill at least two more holes to secure the bracket for the top area because it does not reach up to this hole right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap this one out. So hopefully I don't break anything. Now that I have that stupid freaking thing out, which took way more work than expected, I can make sure this lines up properly. And it does. So I'm going to attempt to use this hole, put my uh, sheet metal screw in there to hold it in place initially, and then I can mark these, drill them, and then set my screws into the top ones. Um, I have four screws. I would like to use them all. So what I'm probably going to do is put the first one in here just to hold it in place for my initial mounting. And then I'll probably take it out and put it uh, and drill these two holes down the bottom as well. And then put my screws in there and just leave this hole blank. Now I'm going to mark the holes. And I'm going to take this back off and go ahead and drill them. Okay guys, so a little embarrassing. I drilled the holes, I went to secure it with the screws and the hole was just a little too big. So the screws wouldn't work. So luckily I had some other sheet metal screws on hand. These are actually for securing uh, metal roofing, but they'll do the job here. Um, so they're smaller, so I still got the other holes left. I have five, you know, where I can still tap them in. So I'm gonna drill and I've already confirmed and uh, so I'm going to drill the other four holes here and then secure those, uh, these other screws into place. But man, was that annoying. So this did not go exactly according to plan, unfortunately. And what really annoys me here is that I originally intended to use these at first. Um, I had them out here in the garage, but then I went inside. I have an additional like tool closet inside and I checked some of the screws I had in there and I found um, the four bigger sheet metal screws. So I was like, oh, a four pack, that'll work perfectly. So I went to use those and of course, then I, I screwed it up. I drilled the hole oh, slightly too big. But also what really annoys me is the pack that I bought, it came with four bolts. And I don't know how you're supposed to use it because the only way you'd be able to secure this is to have access on the back side to be able to get the nut on and tighten it down. So um, maybe a different style door you can use this, but not on mine. So these were completely useless, which is why I had to go through this whole process. But really annoyed that I intended to use those to begin with because it's what I had on hand and it seemed easy and I didn't go with that from the start. 
Besides my little complication with installing the lock, this was incredibly simple and easy to do. So if you do not have a lock on your door, even if you have uh, garage door openers which apply that tension on it so that when it's down you cannot open it from the outside, you may still want to put a lock on just for an added sense of security, especially if you have valuables in the garage like expensive vehicles or just you know a lot of tools like what I have. Um, it's also really nice for that sense of security if you go on vacation. This way there's just no possibility where the door is going to open because you've got that manual lock in place. Now this video is probably going to be part of a three-part series because next I do want to remove my current garage door openers um, and then final step once I have a little bit more money in the, the money to spend on it is I want to add a garage door opener which goes on to the end of the post and the reason for that is is that that will still give me uh, the ability to open the garage doors uh, electronically so I don't have to do it manually. Um, and it eliminates the whole center rail portion here because they will manually turn the post right there on the end rather than having this portion. So I can raise all the rails up because right now the problem is these are not installed correctly. All right, that's it for today's video. So if you like this, then please give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the bell so you know when our next videos are coming out and we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.